Hi, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video I will show you how to set up your brand new computer because contrary to what many people believe there are a lot of things that you will need to do yourself yes I agree there are many things that uh, are auto run and that the computer is doing during installation and that is great but in order to get the optimum uh, value out of uh, your computer there are still a few things that you need to do in this video I will show you what you need to do I will not necessarily show you on how to do it there are all, uh, a lot of other information available out there on how to do things just by way of introduction uh, when you buy a new computer uh, you must shop for the uh, your projected future needs it's no use you buy a computer that uh, will only last you for now a computer may last you project that it may last you for up to five years and in that time in that time and period there will be changes uh, to the windows your other whatever operating system you use and uh, then uh, they will uh, most often uh, uh, want the latest uh, hardware so if you get uh, uh, the latest hardware what you can afford and you must try to get that balance because you, you get computers so that uh, the prices are basically mad you must try to get a nice balance because what you can afford and uh, what is the best now if you open your box that is the first thing you must do you read the uh, instructions and then you must uh, follow them there are usually paper instructions uh, I that you must need to follow initially so read those uh, paper instructions and follow them and then the rest of the instructions usually follow on the screen if you start your initial setup procedure see to it that you have your internet access uh, ready uh, your Wi-Fi and if there are codes that you need to uh, put in for the new computer to access the Wi-Fi you must have those codes ready because the computer usually continues the setup on the internet and it will then have to uh, access the Wi-Fi so turn on your your computer and follow any instructions then but uh, before that time you also had to You must allow the initial updates to uh, run. Yes, it does take time. Maybe uh, go until, uh, but be close to your computer because sometimes they want your interaction and you need to uh, uh, allow things and make choices. But in general, after the first initial thing, uh, then uh, the system runs on its own. You must have these initial updates uh, especially in terms of windows but because uh, from the date of manufacturing up till the time that the computer gets into the shop and you finally get it the computer was transported shipped it uh, li laid in the warehouse so there's a considerable time between uh, the systems that were uh, put onto the computer and now maybe a few months and remember the best antivirus is uh, uh, the latest and updated uh, operating system so give it some time uh, to uh, uh, go through the initial updates then you must uh, register your products you must register windows so that it can be activated uh, uh, the windows are there in present but it must be activated uh, so, sort of getting official and then also your warranty of the manufacturer even if you are not interested or even if the uh, warranty is not necessarily validated by your online registration it is good uh, to register online on the manufacturer's website because that enables you to get access to the latest uh, uh, drivers and updated the drivers and sometimes they can notify you uh, in terms of the latest developments should you be interested 
this is the, the Lenovo uh, sign up that I had to complete. Uh, I think basically it's in initial form. Uh, I bought an, a, a Lenovo and you may have bought something else. So it just depends. And here then uh, the uh, specific manufacturer registration continues. It's a good idea to bookmark your manufacturer's Yelp page and uh, the forums. Uh, of course, f in future, at the regular intervals, you may need to update your system. Uh, and you must remember Windows have a certain update, but uh, your manufacturer, your systems, bio systems, uh, some drivers uh, specifically, maybe affecting the keyboard, affecting some hardware uh, that will be relevant to your manufacturer and then you will need to update. Of course, sometimes you can go without it, but uh, if you have the latest, um, the best uh, uh, updates and drivers, you are protected uh, very much against malware. Then you must also search for your computer's user guide and then read it. And familiarize yourself with uh, new features and see how you can use it. It's no use you bought a, a, an improved system, but you continue on your old crappy ways. It, no, you must use uh, the new systems to your benefit. And then make copies of your computer's vital statistics. Uh, make a screen uh, printout that you can put in a PDF form or you can physically print it out. You do not know when you will keep it this. It's something that you will have to keep a long time and so store it at a good place, at a safe place. Sometimes uh, the vital statistics are also available then on the box. Uh, write it down. I like to uh, make a photo uh, of the uh, statistics so that if there's maybe at some stage something I do not know then they can advise me. Make it a very clear uh, picture. In this case I blurred some things uh, f uh, deliberately. Uh, then you may wonder when you start off uh, quite happy with your uh, computer and you see this uh, thing worked so wonderful at the shop but now you see the scrappy thing it it's like your old computer and then most likely uh, the virtual memory strange as it is the virtual memory is not necessarily correctly set by Windows even Windows 10 so then you just need to adapt and optimize your virtual memory Your virtual memory, the initial size must be equal to the available RAM and the uh, maximum size must be equal to one and a half times the minimum RAM. You can, there's many uh, systems that uh, will tell you and uh, information available exactly how to do this. You will have to schedule the automatic maintenance. Remember, it's a new computer. The automatic maintenance are not set. Uh, you will have to set it uh, because uh, a computer is a thing that needs to be maintained. And in fact, uh, it needs to be maintained uh, at the background quite often. You want to get the best bang for your buck. You want your computer to last, especially maybe if you're a small business person. So use the... Uh, maintenance functions that are available and you need to also then maintain your computer. Uh, the automatic maintenance task is you just go to the window settings and you just type in the maintenance and then the change automatic maintenance settings will appear. You then select the change maintenance settings. And then you can s 
set where you want your maintenance tasks to appear. Maybe for me it suits 10 o'clock in the mornings because then I've got meetings on. But maybe it will another time for you. You must try also to obtain a minimum operational status soonest, meaning that you want to be up and running soonest. Uh, uh, you don't want to have a new computer and you can't do basic functions. And in my case, uh, you, you, you must prioritize the programs in the order that you want to set them up and uh, which you want to make active on your computer. In my case, it's uh, I need the email, the printer, MS Office, and then Adobe, and etc. But uh, as soon as possible, you can have your email and, and read and be up and running. Remember that uh, when you install your license software, uh, the new computers do not necessarily have a DVD drive. Uh, so you will have to do many things online. And your precious uh, DVDs uh, that you kept so well is basically useless. What you need is the very important uh, uh, product keys and those product keys you need uh, to have on hand. Uh, MS Office need them, antivirus uh, programs, for example, Kaspersky needs them. So uh, uh, you will have to have them uh, handy with you. And uh, the fact that you then can't uh, insert a CD is really no problem. When you're busy installing your new programs, remember to create uh, system restore points. The system restore points are very important should something happen because you install a new program. You have a backup point where you can go and say, before I uh, install this program XYZ, uh, then my computer ran quite uh, well, and so I want to go back to that point. Um, and uh, this new uh, program that I uh, uh, installs totally throughout my computer, brand new, and it, I can't even access it, or I, it, it runs so slow. You simply go to the uh, system protection uh, and then you uh, have your creation points where you create your system protection and restore points. Also back up your system quite often. You must remember you are busy installing new programs and some of these programs even if it's uh, well known, may have problems. Uh, I am talking now from first hand experience. I uh, done all these things, uh, installed everything, and then there was a. Uh, I don't want to mention the program, but it was well known, and uh, it still gave some uh, problems when I couldn't even nearly start this brand new computer. And uh, I ran a, a vulnerability check with. Uh, um, Kaspersky, I don't advertise Kaspersky, I just use it. And then I saw uh, the uh, a culprit. And uh, But in order, I couldn't even start my computer and, and I had to uh, contact the uh, manufacturer's uh, helpline and then I basically had to uh, reboot the whole system, start a new. Uh, because the system wanted, uh, even though I had restore points, the system was looking for a backup. Uh, file and I didn't back up my thing. So even if you have restore points, in addition, uh, if you have a, f a, f a critical flaw and a critical cr uh, uh, flawed program that you upload that basically uh, deny you access to your own program, then you will need a backup system. So what I basically tell you is have a backup system in addition uh, and see to it that uh, because you are uploading and, and, and do changes to the whole uh, driver upload and systems of your operating uh, uh, windows. Uh, so have a, a backup system, make quite a few times a backup. 
you for a backup of course you just type backup in the uh, settings and then you uh, uh, set your backup uh, there's a, a tip in terms of uh, the printer maybe you have an old printer which I have but the printer is relatively good it's not necessary to uh, replace a printer it's a good good printer uh, then your CDs do not work uh, and uh, but luckily if you just put it in uh, the new windows will be able to pick up and identify the printer itself uh, under normal circumstances and that happened with me but and now the thing is uh, the uh, printer ha has a scanning uh, functionality and the scanning functionality was not originally picked up or identified in uh, by windows itself then you have to uh, download a windows scan uh, app and you can just search the internet for that and here is just a picture of the scanning uh, that is it's very uh, quite uh, uh, good Then you have to conclude your installation uh, with the update uh, system of the critical drivers. Go to your uh, manufacturer's support site. In this case, I have a Lenovo. And then update your system. Uh, you will be surprised, uh, even though your Windows system is updated, uh, there are certain critical drivers that are not necessarily updated and that uh, must be updated by your uh, manufacturer for example uh, 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 the uh, keypad uh, the uh, uh, drivers regarding uh, the mouse pad or the camera so those and, and I was quite surprised uh, even the bio system I was quite surprised to, to see the many updates I needed and then they also have sometimes uh, a lot of uh, uh, Windows uh, popular Windows updates Of course you need to sign into your social media sites because the auto uh, memory and auto recording of your passwords uh, uh, as being done is not in your new computer so it needs to be uh, again get into the new computer's memory so you need to sign into your Facebook your Twitter or your LinkedIn or whatever uh, social media sites you have and then of course the uh, codes will be remembered by your browser then lastly I will say and that's why I do uh, copy your data from your backup disk uh, that you have there so that uh, I mean uh, you now have everything and if there's something wrong you don't need to uh, get all that trouble putting data onto your disk Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and share this video and please subscribe. We love uh, constructive comments and criticism, so uh, please be free to leave your comments. Thank you very much.